this is so major folks this is so major the mainstream not giving it the attention that it deserves and um, we have to do it one thousand million animals died that's one billion animal one seventh of the population died 21 million acres burnt state of emergency thousand fleeing from land into water to escape this thing what i'm talking about is not a movie it's a real life situation that is happening on our planet that is happening on planet earth it's not a figment of the imagination this is a real happening happening right now a ecological catastrophe what am i talking about it is the cataclysmic australia fire that is burning right now over more than a month over two months now burning non-stop this australia fire began november 11th and it's still burning uncontrollable every state in australia is on fire every state there's fire in every state there's a state of emergency nationwide and you know most of the reports is the reports are there's no end in sight imagine 1000 million animals died that's 25 that's 40 times the population of that country australia that's four times the population of the United States. That's one seventh of the population of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, that is cataclysmic, catastrophic, unprecedented. This is so major. This is so major. And it, it is it's getting worse and worse. Thousands upon thousands of buildings destroyed, towns wiped out, reduced to ashes. And it is just getting real, real bad, even worse. Record temperature, record heat, record drought. It's really getting bad. But I have good news for you. The good news is that before this event unfolded, God revealed it to his people. Jesus Christ revealed it to his people before it happened. He revealed it to the saints before it happened. Right now, the, the, the scholars and the scientists and those environmentalists, they can't explain this fire. Yeah, they're finding, trying to find some side reasons, but they can't explain this fire. But the, the God that we serve, Jesus Christ, revealed it before in order to get the answer and to understand what this fire mean you have to look to those who god spoke to and it's right there in the word of god i'm going to read this for you it's right there in the word yes yeah, so this is found in jeremiah 9 and verse 12 and i want you to read it with me because you're not going to understand this you're not going to understand this if you're not in connection with the god of heaven with jesus christ that's the best way to explain it is to be a part of Christ and to be a part of a prophetic move of God and a church that is hearing from God. Read this. Yes, look at this. He said, Jeremiah 9 verse 12. He said, who is the wise man that may understand this? Understand what? Understand the cataclysmic fires that is happening right now in Australia. And he said... Who, who is this wise man oh, that may understand this? Who are they? The Bible tells you who are they. He said, Who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord have spoken? In other words, who did God speak to before this happened? Who? Who did God speak to? I shouldn't tell you who. That he may declare it. That's what we're doing right now. For what happened now? For the land perisheth. The land is the land of Australia perishing. Yes, it is. The Australia land is being burnt up. And is burnt up. See it right there. It's right there in the Bible. 
is burnt up like a wilderness that none passeth through. Can you see that? Folks, did, did you see that? That's in the Bible. He said, who is the wise man that can understand this? It's unprecedented. One thousand million animals. But God said, who can understand this? He said, who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord have spoken? Because the land is perishing and is burnt up. Is burnt up. And God, God spoke to us. And this thing have been revealed. This event started November 11th. But God have been speaking to Australia from a, for a good time now. He have been speaking to us, to Australia for a good time now. And I'm going to show you some major prophecies that has been revealed. And I'm starting with the most recent, going further down. I'm going to start with the most recent. And you're going to see for yourself that there's a God in heaven that speaks, that reveal the deep and the secret things. And God gave the revelation of cataclysmic fire on September 27, 2019. The fire started November 11. God spoke before. Not only that, he revealed the fire that Australia, he didn't say New Zealand, he didn't say any other country, he said Australia, cataclysmic fire is coming. That was revealed September 27. Prophesied on October 4th, right here, right at church. Not only that, in, in 2019, just a few months ago, we had our vestas on the grounds in, in Australia prophesying of destruction and judgment coming upon the land and calling Australians to repent and to come to Jesus. And to come to Jesus. Yes. Calling Australians to repent. And to turn to Jesus. Not only that. A few, for a few years back. Australia. A warning was given. That Australia you're in trouble. And we're going to explain. The, 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 the relations of what is happening right now with Australia. And Worldwide Vision Day. And the Great Gathering. Stay tuned to these prophecies right now. Take a look at it. Look at that there. That's Australia burning. Prophecy is coming up right now. This is what John Jesus 13, said. 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. First prophecy, see? October 4th was prophesied. Revelation. Prophecy. September 27, 2019. In a vision, the Lord revealed as a cosmic fire upon Australia shortly, it is wise for all to take precaution where possible. Mankind need to repent of their sins and turn to Jesus Christ, God Almighty, the only one who can credibly reveal things to come. August 17, 2019. Australia, destruction is coming, Melbourne. Destruction is coming, turn to Jesus. Melbourne has trailer, come to Jesus before it's too late. Turn to Jesus! Repent, Australia! Judgment is coming on the line. October, November 10th, 2016. God has left a window. Come on. There's a 9 verse 8. God has left a little space. I there me somebody? It's a 9 verse 8. You gotta wait, what's going on here? And I have a warning for the country of Australia. Australia, you are nine letters. You better open your window and open your door. Australia churches, open your door. You better open your window and open your door. Australia churches, open your door. Open your window to World Vision Day. Give us a call. When you come to your church, you release that vision. You don't discover you need it. Australia is in trouble. But calamities and they are coming. And you need a Jonah in your country. So there you have it. Major, major prophecies. We see the first one. Cataclysmic fires 
coming upon Australia, it said cataclysmic. It didn't just say fire. It said cataclysmic, meaning catastrophic, unprecedented, calamitous fire coming upon Australia. God revealed that to the church before Ah, we see the investors on the ground in Australia warning the country, warning the nation of destruction coming. We see that other um, call to the churches in Australia to open the door to Worldwide Vision Day. What does this mean? What does this fire mean for mankind? First of all, God revealed right here the, that the, we must gather the people. The people must be gathered. He said, gather the people. Gather the people. Gather yourselves. Cause them to gather. And God is saying, it's time to gather yourself to God. It's time to gather in the house of God. Right now in that fire, a lot of gathering is happening. People are gathered. They are running. They are fleeing from the land in the water. Thousands. Thousands of people hanging out in water, in boat, running from land. For the fire, from fire. Some are gathered, some are dead. They are gathered in the grave. But God is saying, gather to Jesus. Gather yourself to the Lord. The great gathering is happening right now in New York. Wherever you are in the world, come to the great gathering. We are going for 21 days. God gave this revelation. He said, gather the people. He said, gather them, cause them together. And God is saying, it's time to gather yourself to the Lord. Why? Because it's going to get worse. Not, not only Australia going to experience these calamities. They're going to happen worldwide. There are more trouble. Not only fire, all kind of trouble coming. And God is saying, it's time to gather yourself unto the Lord. It's time to gather in the house of God. Whether you're in Australia, wherever you are, gather yourself to the Lord. The other major thing is the connection of the fire and Worldwide Vision Day. The fire that is happening on, in Australia. Worldwide Vision Day began in 2014. And pay attention to the note. Worldwide Vision Day is a revelation from God for the body of Christ. Every three months, to rise up together on one accord and preach the gospel every quarter, every three months, every season, the first Saturday of every quarter, the first Saturday of every season, to preach the undiluted gospel in their respective country, city, and state. And listen, when God gave the revelation, God said we must start from the most prominent most prominent and most easterly country, the most prominent easterly country, which was Australia. So revelation was given in New York. But Worldwide Vision Day started in Australia. Our investors left New York and, and went to Australia. And World, um, Worldwide Vision Day started in Australia. Pay attention to the, world, to the word vision. Vision. Able to see in the spirit. To see ahead. Foresight. Hindsight. Insight. To know ahead. And it started in Australia. Not only that, Australia did not respond. The churches in Australia didn't respond. So God, by 2016, another appeal from God was made to Australia. Say, open your door because it's not going to be well. Trouble is coming. All kind of things is coming. Open your door because it's only a little space. By this year, again, visionaries was on the grounds in Australia saying destruction is coming judgment is coming Australia come to Jesus repent and by September 27th God visited the church and gave revelation to Australia cataclysmic fire and within a month by November 11th we see the beginning of what is happening right now. It begins and it seems as if it has no end because the country is just burning. What God is saying, world, what God is saying, church, gather and go out for Worldwide Vision Day. We are still in the extension. Worldwide Vision Day was just this January 4th. And we are in the extension all the way to January 19. Go out, tell somebody that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. I'm here to tell somebody, it's time to gather yourself to Jesus. It's time for vision. The, all the technology that they have, even people leaving from the U.S. to go help with this fire. Uh, all that technology, no, you need a vision from God. That's what's missing from man. You need a word from God in order to be ahead of fire. 
a flood and all that the calamities that are coming. You need a word from God and that's why the church is here. You despise it, you despise your own life. I'm here to tell you, now is the time to gather yourself to Jesus Christ. He's the answer. The Bible said the wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed. He said they have rejected the word of God and what wisdom is in them. That's why they don't know what to do because they reject the voice of God that is ahead of all technology and all the best intellect that you have. You're not ahead of the intellect and the intelligence of God who reveal these things to come. And he, he sent these fires and these warnings so you can wake up. It's a sign to the world. You see it start, Worldwide Vision Day started in Australia. You see the fire and the, this major calamitous, unprecedented, catastrophic, cataclysmic fire happening. That's where Worldwide Vision Day start to the whole world. Yeah, we went to the whole world. Watch the calamity that's happening in Australia. It's going to spread and it's time to gather. Gather before it's too late. Gather before it's too late. God bless you. Stay in tune and we continue to keep you posted.